Hey, Sharon, Jeff Wilson here. Uh, I, before I get to the uh, questions, let me just once again repeat my profound honor and gratitude for this honor. I'm anxious to see you here in a couple weeks. I will make you proud, this I promise. So what when I think of the definition of a trendsetter, I think of the stereotype, one that embodies the definition of courage, not the absence of fear, but the mastering of fear and is out there blazing trails. But under the heading of balance, there's a counterbalance to that, and that is one that is humble, one that leads from the rear, and one that is wise, kind of embodies the lyrics to that rock song, if I claim to be a wise man, it surely means that I don't know. One that is called to plant trees, the shade from which they should never hope to enjoy. So a trendsetter is one that truly has balance in their lives. And furthermore, is never standing alone, is surrounded by people. Not that they necessarily lead in mass, but lead by teaching how to lead. That's a trendsetter. It's funny when you use the word challenge. In leading businesses, we try not to use that word. We replace the word challenge with the word opportunity. And in my life, I've really worked hard to see every challenge as opportunity. That said, I can't really think of many challenges that I've overcome. I've just embraced every opportunity. And done so by looking back at a book that I read years ago about a guy named Dick Bass, who was the oldest man to climb the seven summits, the highest summits on all seven continents. And when he thought he was going to die on Mount Everest, and he almost did, he told himself that every single thing worth accomplishing in life was done one step at a time. And he told himself over again, step by step, there are no unimportant steps. So in business and in everything worth accomplishing in life, and as a trendsetter, step by step, there are no unimportant steps. And that's what I do. Everything worth accomplishing, every opportunity, challenge, whatever you want to call it, step by step, there are no unimportant steps. And with that, we can and we do do anything and everything we set out to accomplish. One of the phrases by which I live my life is, don't look back, you're not going that way. As a man of faith, I also live my life by saying, learn every day and never stop learning. And uh, so I don't really know yet that uh, I'm doing everything I was created to do. I can look back and cite any number of miracles, and yeah, I think I've done pretty well. But that said, I think there's a lot more to do, and I look very forward to figuring that out and doing just that. Please. See with your heart and not your eyes. Learn and never stop learning. Love unconditionally. Lead by serving. And do those first four with the courage, not the absence of fear, but the mastering of fear. If you do those five, good things will happen. That's my experience, and I'll stand by it. No question that would be Maya Angelou. I miss her terribly. I had the great pleasure of, of uh, attending church with Maya Angelou at Glide Memorial in San Francisco. Anybody who has the beautiful soul to write of a caged bird singing, my goodness, what a gift she was to us. And yeah, I think dinner with Maya, what a treat that would have been. I miss her terribly. I would like people to know that I was truly called to plant trees the shade from which I should never hope to enjoy. And I did just that. But those trees grew, and indeed others planted trees the shade from which they should never have hoped to enjoy. And those trees grew, and on and on and on, and that's just the way it ought to be, right? But somewhere, a whole lot of people enjoyed an awful lot of very nice shade. And I just think that's, a, that's the foundation for a pretty nice world. And that we all someday learn from, grow from, and celebrate that that makes us different. And we only see opportunity. Again, it is my profound honor to be here with you today. Thank you.